You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. 
Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, and I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, no. a German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, no, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <coughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No, nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. But I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. Very valuable. Good? Not good yet. Better be something somewhere. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. Don't even speak English. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things. What you got behind there? So, surprise, I mean, you know, me. Move aside. What do we have here? My old bronzka, yeah. Just keep quiet. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robel. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer-preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's 
the pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <sighs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. Step back a bit. Maybe it still works. Let's get out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you. Oh, you're dead now. Micah, it's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna get to you next! I hope you paid your undertaker and I got more grit in the heel than I need a damn boot! Out of here! Gonna be dead soon, partner! Stop right there! I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons. Bounty hunters. Ah, 
pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. I, I, I'm having a fit. God damn it, Arthur. Ah! <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. We're gonna have to do our way up there. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these hijo putas. Damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bound? Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Still time. You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. <laughs> 